All right, welcome to my first development log for my indie game. This is the first game I'm making in Godot that I plan to sell on Steam. Since this is also the first video on this channel, I'll share a little bit of background. I've never worked on a video game, but I've been writing software professionally for the past 10 years. I got inspired after reading Masters of Doom, which is the story of how John Carmack and John Romero started id Software back in the early 90s. I was also inspired by Eric Barone's story in Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. This led me to start learning Godot in my spare time, and after a year of doing that, I think I'm finally ready to make a game of my own. I eventually want to make a 2D real-time strategy game like Warcraft 2 or Starcraft, because these were my favorite games when I was growing up. They also don't make these types of games anymore. However, a lot of advice on the internet for beginner indie devs is to start small and simple. That way, you don't bite off more than you can chew and then get discouraged when you eventually run into a brick wall. This is why my first game will be a 2D, top-down tank combat game. It will be inspired by Battle City, which was a game that was released in 1985. I'll be making my own maps and adding some new game mechanics, but the core gameplay is you're a tank and you have to defend your base from enemy tanks. I started with creating pixel art, so I have something more interesting to put in the game rather than just squares and circles. I'm new to pixel art and new to creating art in general, so I initially found the idea of creating art assets for my game daunting. But after watching a lot of YouTube tutorials on pixel art and practicing every Sunday with the Pixel Daily Challenge, I actually started having fun with it. So with my budding pixel art skills, I made a bunch of tanks, just a few normal looking ones to some more interesting uh, looking space age or alien tanks. I made some gun flash concept art. I made some trees, top down trees, and a bunch of uh, different ideas for explosions for when the shell explodes. And then also a very basic terrain tile set. With my placeholder art ready, I started a new project in Godot and went to work adding basic top-down 2D movement to a tank. I added a kinematic body 2D, sprite for it, collision shape for it, and the state machine with two states, idle and run. Godot's node system makes adding a state machine super easy, and both of these states inherit from this move state which takes input from the player. And with this, I have a tank that moves in eight directions. Then I added two tile maps to a map scene, one for the ground textures, I plan to have more than just grass in the future, and another for the trees and eventually other objects that the tanks can collide into and sometimes destroy. After that, I added a reusable border scene, which is a static body 2D, and then line segment collision shape 2Ds for the left, bottom, right, and top part. I then instance that scene as a child of my map scene, and with that, we have a tank that can move around, it collide with the trees, and then collide with the border so it stays within the camera view. So that's it for this first devlog. In the next video, I'll share more of my progress. If you like this content or you find it interesting, you can subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.